Hello everybody, Pinstripe here. Welcome to the release of Pinstripe's mod version 3.0. It's going to be all about the details today as to what is in this mod. The biggest starting point, of course, has to be the fact that there are new maps in the game. 14 new maps to be precise, but to tell you a little secret, as many of you have actually noticed, these maps technically aren't new. They are old, but because no one has actually played them, they are new. What I've basically done is taken some of the cooler looking maps from the older version of Hogs in the alpha and the pre-alpha and plonked them into the game that we have today. So yeah, technically these maps are new, but I hope that you guys enjoy them because every single mission is completely different. Every single map is almost completely different. There are some maps that are still the same, but they are their older counterparts, but they do have some significant differences in there as well. So basically expect something new in every single single player campaign mission. Another new feature, as you've probably noticed from the gameplay, is that there are new pig ranks, new pig names in every single team. Now, the ranks themselves are still the same in terms of weaponry, um, so you won't really find any differences there, but there are completely new rank names. So, for instance, the heavy weapons class is now uh, ranked up via the corporal, lieutenant, and the captain, whereas the medical class has a medic, a field surgeon and a medical officer. I'll leave you guys to find out the rest of the details there because I don't want to give everything away in this video. Um, but yeah, in terms of pig names, like I said, every single pig in the game has been renamed. So if you go into the Tommy's Trotters, you will find completely new names, including the legend pigs that have been added to every single army. Uh, so, for instance, if you select uh, the Garlic Grunts, you will find Le Renard on there. If you select the Sushi Swine, then Tapazuki will be there too. And the Legends on the final mission have also been renamed as well. As a thank you to the community, I have selected a whole bunch of people who have been big contributors to the community that have been active in the Discord, all sorts of things. You guys, your names have been put into Team Lard, so you will be able to find yourself as a pig on Team Lard. There are lots of other details as well that I haven't really mentioned fully in this video, but I'll leave it up to you guys to find them out and, you know, snoop them out in the menus and, and all sorts of things. I won't give any other hints, but let's move on to what the main body of this mod is about, and that is being the hardest mod out of all three of the mods that I have made so far. Looking back at version 1.0 and 2.0, I realized that I gave too much of a helping hand to the player in relation to health crates and weapon crates, so those have been greatly reduced within each level. Sadly, there is still the issue of random crates. I know some people don't really like it, but because they are so minimal within each level, it kind of feels a little bit more balanced compared to version 2.0 because you can't always rely on the weapon crate giving you a super air burst or a super TNT or something crazy like that. So because because there is less of them, it becomes harder. I basically had more of a focus on health crates and, and trying to boost your health where possible, but not too much. And the new maps also factor into that as well. There are quite a few that the weapon crates, if they do drop down, they're placed in harder to reach places where you have to either sacrifice a jetpack to get them, or you know you you need more of an effort to go you know go for a reach around and get them basically, where you have to take a longer walk around the map to find them, get them, and use them. As I stated in the trailer as well, the main intention with this mod was to be the hardest out of the three, and I think I have hopefully achieved that here, seeing as pig ranks are much higher and hard mode is just insane. Once again, the new maps and the multiplayer maps really add to the difficulty in giving enemy pigs a better position over the player, either a height advantage or just, you know, better positioning overall. But there will also be no bullshit in relation to the player's position. Your pigs will never be bunched up so much that it just becomes easy for a hero to waltz in and use an airstrike, you know? All in all, guys, that's going to wrap it up, though, for Pinstripe's mod version 3.0. I don't want to spoil too many details for you. I want you guys to go ahead and check them out for yourself. There will be a developer's commentary going into detail about every single mission in one video. So it'll probably be the longest video that I've made up until this point. So check that out when it comes out. There'll also be a playthrough that I'll do in a couple of days as well. And I'm sure other people will be playing this mod and streaming it and stuff all over the internet. So feel free to download the mod. The link, of course, is in the description, as I said. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments and what you are looking forward to most. 
And I can't end this video without giving a huge shout out and thank you to Barney for all of his assistance with this mod and the previous endeavors that I've had in relation to Hogs of War modding. Without him, the additional details would not be possible in this mod. So huge thank you to you, Barney. And in the meantime, guys, I will catch you all later for the next one.